Why is that going like that? All right. Hey guys, what is going on? I am back for a very long overdue vlog. I want to give a special hello to all of my subscribers out there. You guys are the best. But um, so we got an exciting vlog plan today. So exciting. Doing the Fez. Fez head vlog. What's that look on my hair? That is like ruining my hair. There we go. So we have a fun and exciting vlog plan today. And by fun and ex exciting, I mean very informative. A lot of new information getting shoved at you in a very short period of time. So let's start at the beginning. Get the Fez thing. There we go. Fez thing. So, whatever. So, um, what do we got going on here? All right. So we'll start at the beginning. I am going to be revitalizing my community. So, um, I want to say hello to all my subscribers. I haven't actually like went out and talked to a lot of my subscribers lately. So I might be sending out a few messages, say hello to some of my older ones that I absolutely miss. Um, can't really name any off the top of my head. There's a few subscribers that have done some work for me and or have given me some advice. So I'm going to be saying hello and I'm going to be attempting to revitalize my community on that uh, front. So if anybody wants me to send them a message, I'm happy to do it. Uh, second off, I have... My dog doesn't even come in my room. And I've still got dog hair on my keyboard. Wow. Anyways, so um, cool new detail come up. A one of my friends who has his own YouTube channel. Um, he runs a lifestyle channel um, called Alex Bo. Alex B E A U. Alex Bo. He has uh, reached out to me, and we're going to begin doing collaboration with him. He's about um, 1,400 subscribers and. He has about 1,400 subscribers, so he actually has a pretty good community built up. And he does some pretty awesome lifestyle stuff. Like, he has really nice hair. Like, long, long hair that you can put in a man bun. Like, that's long. Like, man bun long. But men shouldn't have buns. But his man bun is really nice. Anyways, um, he's going to be getting a gaming channel, and I might be doing some gaming with him coming up here, and we're going to record that and do some shenanigans, and we'll kind of see what becomes of that. So I've been talking back and forth with him a little bit. Um, we can expect his gaming channel to be up in March. His will be up in March, and so we'll add him to the wall of people I've collaborated with. Add him to the likes of Cube, Mick, and Aid Up Gaming. Gangsta Shrek himself, who I've been harassing in his vlog, or in his live streams. Love you, buddy. Um, so that's that. Doing stuff with Alex now, which is kind of cool. Hopefully, he'll be doing stuff with Alex. I mean, he's a pretty sweet guy. Plus, he's popular. I mean, my God, 1,400 subscribers. That's like one or two more than me. Wow. What a bro. What a bro. Anyways, so doing stuff with him. Um. Mm, beat just cause three so i got that going for me um i have noticed and have noted i have noted that my factorio videos have been actually getting a good amount of views um probably due to the fact that i finally figured out how to do search results better for factorio i know what people are kind of looking for um, so I've actually put up a few of my adaptive designs and modular designs, like how to make your factory and build it so that it will um, be easier to expand upon, like to the point of near infiniteness. Or how to build stations to the point of building it to near infiniteness without um, too much difficulty. And then um, my modular design for a, or my easy to upgrade design for a smelting facility was actually pretty good. Showed people how to go from, how to build it from stone and steel furnaces all the way to electric and not have to change too much around and keep like the same amount of space throughout basically you like take up a little bit of extra space at the beginning of construction and plan for that future expansion and so i'm actually going to begin doing a series on factorio as played by an engineer 
I know I've said I'm going to be doing this a couple times, but I think I might actually go about with it. So then begs the question, who's the engineer? Well, technically, technically, I am a controls engineer. I do a lot with um, automation and programming in real life. Um, recommend um, sensors and stuff to people. Um, just I support a whole bunch of products, drives, servos, m I'm general tech support. It's actually pretty cool. So I have a lot of so I have a lot of knowledge about um, automation as a whole. My coworkers will beg to differ on that, but whatever. But um, so that's pretty cool. Um, my friend Naj, we're actually we don't we have the same kind of degree. So he's actually went for an electrical engineering degree. Nerd. Geek. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna be kicking off that series. I'm gonna do one season of that, like maybe a ten episode season. Just like 15 minute segments until I, um, I'm not very knowledgeable at that game, but I am pretty okay and I know how to make stuff efficiently, which is the point. And then I've always got like my friend Rodon, another one of my managers who does stuff like makes it look pretty. So we might, I might bring him on for an episode or two to like pimp this factory out kind of deal, which would actually be pretty cool. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So I've got that going on. I also have, um, what was it? My friend Andrew, whose skin I accidentally used in the last um, the last Minecraft series I did, um, we're talking about doing some stuff, so that could be, but that's like a couple months off, way, way off. So I've got stuff from him going on, I've, and then now the port stuff, we talk money. So I'm purchasing two new softwares coming up here, I'm going to be purchasing Bandicam, because I have heard nothing but good things about that. It looks to be easy to use, and I'm looking for something to replace, replace fraps that I can do webcam with. And Bandicam seemed like the best option. I can never get OBS to work for the life of me, and I've tried and I've tried other softwares. I've tried some live streaming stuff, but I'm I'm really gonna like throw some money at Bandicam and see if that's what it, what I'm looking for. Fraps is doing okay, but I think I'm it's time to move beyond Fraps. Because I've noticed that when I do recordings, there's actually, I do a lot of hand gestures and facial features and that um, I can't capture and add to the uh, quality of my videos because I don't have a, because I can't like translate from here to like videos. And it kind of sucks, but hopefully when I add um, Bandicam into my arsenal, that'll help me. There's also a new recording software, like Fillmore or like Fillmore or something. Um, it, it, anyways, it, um, so interesting story. My old recording software, Track Axe PC, we don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to the company. There's no record of them anymore. Like nothing. Their Twitter has not been updated. Their Facebook has not been updated. Their YouTube has not been updated, and their website is down. So I can no longer get the software. When I built my computer, I tried to migrate over from my Windows 8 machine on my my Windows 8 on my um, laptop. That's what I've been running YouTube off of for like a long time. Is my laptop when I upgraded to you know this monstrosity yeah look at that and i think that's the first time i've ever actually showed off my my pc and there's my guitar over there but this monster right here that thing just beasts it up just like absolutely beasts it up but anyways so um when i migrated over from my my um laptop to this i tried to bring track x over now here's the problem track x this was a download for a windows 8 I am running Windows 10. So the problem is those two don't play nice. Um, there's some, um, I could probably mess with the electronic data sheet to get it to work, but I don't want to risk that and end up breaking it. But, so um, I was planning on doing a full wipe of that laptop for when I'm off it on trips for work, I can still game. But now I'm not so much because that's the only copy of TrackX I have. I think I could just copy it on a flash drive and paste it over, but I don't want to risk losing uh, my ability to use TrackX. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. So um, I'm going to switch this new recording software that's very similar to TrackX. Uh, and it looks like it has a lot more easy to use functionality while still being able to use, I'm a big fan of having like multiple um, tracks, tracks to play around with. I'm a huge fan of that. Like I like track after track after track, like lining up tracks and stuff. Huge fan of that. I love that. Just track, 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 track. Here's an audio track, visual track, more audio, mix and match. I am a 
absolute huge fan of that. Keeping that all straight, love that. That's how I think. But um, I haven't been able to find that. And I did get a, um, a download for Adobe Premiere. It sucks. It's very complicated. I'm like, here's Windows, Windows Movie Maker. Here's Adobe, uh, here's Adobe Premiere. I'm between, I'm like, I, I don't do advanced video editing, but I need something more advanced than, in, um, than um, Windows Movie Maker. So Track Axe was that nice bridge where I can still have some functionality, but I'm not doing like animations and stuff. So I think that this new stuff, like Phil, I, I can never remember what the name of it is, but I think it'll be a nice bridge once I start picking it up and doing more, I might be able to do um, pump pump out a higher quality video. That's why I haven't been uploading as much because it takes a, it's a much longer and more inconvenient process for me to actually actually um, download. So what I'm going to focus on a little bit more now is um, creating community or building my community rather than pumping out videos. Um, so I'm going to get back in touch with some old subscribers that I haven't messaged in a while, check on them, that kind of thing. I'm, uh, community building, just, you know, Managing and and let's see where it goes. Managing and growing. That's what we're gonna do. And um, yeah. And I've been writing a song. It sucks, but I haven't really worked on it. I basically riffed, and just that's I haven't touched it since. It's actually pretty okay, but uh, that's besides the point. Um, so I got that going on. But other than that, that's all the news. That is the news. Um. Thank you all again to my subscribers, and I hope that those who are not subscribers that are watching this are just like smashing that subscribe button because we got some cool stuff going on. And I know I say that all the time, but I think this time I actually mean it. I don't know though. Do I actually mean it? Or do I just perpetually disappoint people? Yeah. Perpetually disappoint people. All right, but unfortunately, that is all the time I have. It is already 8.03, and I got work in the morning. I'm actually teaching my first class at work. Yay. All right. But until then, guys, see ya. That was not my pause button. That was my F9, which stops fraps, but not this.